This one I think is going to be pretty interesting. This video is sponsored by LD Player. Welcome to a DQ Die Heroes Bond video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be doing kind of like a first impressions, first look at how this game is. We're going to have a look at the art, the story, the gameplay, how it all plays out. Just a quick look at the different systems and stuff and for you guys who like global releases and what I mean by global is like really global and what I really mean by that is that it is going to be a simultaneous release or well, it's already simultaneously released for both like JP as well as global and so for you guys who like that like the Genshin treatment the Alchemy Stars treatment this this game is doing that too and honestly that's really awesome to see because I really like these like truly global releases anyway this is DQ Die this is published by Square Enix and it is created by DNA and for you guys who don't know DNA they did do Final Fantasy Record Keeper as well as Pokemon Masters to name a few but that's enough rambling let's get into the game and see what awaits us so I have heard that this is actually really really reroll friendly there should technically be a built-in reroll button when we get to the end of this and I don't know if they can like scam us out of it like world flipper did anyway la -di -da, -di da the first thing I noticed is 30 FPS <laughs> it's like the first thing I always look for right but right now it it clicks smooth at least that's that's good and so let's go pop a lace uh, okay and then let's see if it's gonna let me do that all right that's what I'm talking about pop a lace it's a name of great prompts <laughs> oh, stop it yay okay anyway this looks like a uh, you know what I'm just gonna skip okay <laughs> I'm so sorry, narrator. Oh, man, but I want to see what this game is actually about. Okay, so I've got a whole bunch of cutscenes. Oh, oh, okay. Bad things are happening. Oh, it's the Black Mage from Maple Story. Okay. All right, so we've got an animation. We've got a cutscene. It looks like a lot of 3D, which is pretty nice. But again, I'm going to skip this as well just to actually get into the game itself. All right, guys, we're finally in the game. We've got Die over here. I can see the three tracks already. And so if you guys have played like Subway Surfers, Temple Run, like those three lanes where you run it around or like the Mario one, I I'm pretty sure there's a lot of them. This is essentially like that. So I actually, there's a lot of RPG elements that are incorporated in it. So you're going to be rolling for weapons and yeah, we'll see how it actually handles that. All right, let me try to actually get into. Oh, wait, there's a skip button here. Okay. Let's see if I can actually go and play a stage instead of just being bogged down by all of this. All right, so here is the battle system. So we're gonna tap. Oh, oh, okay, here we go. And characters will automatically attack. So do I need to, oh, oh man, that poor slime. <laughs> so what are we doing for the special training? Um, Can I can I go left and right? Oh, okay, so it's just a simple swipe to go left and right. So are you gonna let me go left? Okay, so it looks like it's in my best interest to go and kill them, which is really interesting because in a lot of the other games, you are trying to avoid things, right? And so it looks like we're about to use a skill. So tap the skills icon to use skills. All right, let's hit that uh, slash, bam. Skills used to defeat an enemy become skill finishes. Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. But can you handle this? <laughs> Bro, I can handle anything if I put my mind to it. Oh, okay, maybe I can't handle that, okay. Okay, you know what, I take it back, bro. I take it back. Hey, give me a hand, man. All right, so it looks like we're versing a dragon, so I can use skip. Can I use skills? Uh, tap and hold the screen to guard against enemy attacks. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That is, that is cool. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, there's a dodge as well. Okay, wow. Wait a second. This is actually kind of fun. Ah, oh, 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 okay. Let's go back up and let's go smack him. Okay, so you can dodge like, ah, okay. Hold up. Wait, this is so action oriented. This is, I wouldn't call it like PGR level, but like, <laughs> this is not what I expected to find. Oh my lord. Okay, let's go back in. Let's smack him a little. Let's, let's show him who's daddy. And uh, he should be dead soon. Oh! oh. <laughs> Wait, he's got glasses. Oh, look at those skill effects. Mm. That's pretty cool. I think this is actually completely voiced. However, guys, I do have sound turned off because I don't want to get my ass DMCA'd, but if you guys do check it out, I'm pretty sure it's like completely voiced. All right, I'm just going to skip through this because I want to show you guys a little bit more like in terms of what are the systems like and stuff like that. Oh, it looks like we're playing as the bad guy. Oh, oh wait, are we the bad guy or are they the bad guy? I thought we were a bad Oh, oh! wait, why couldn't I dodge? The special gauge will charge up. Okay. Okay, so I guess we'll just use things until we... Okay, so this isn't all about running, so I can... Oh, okay. Uh, knocking a boss backwards into a breakpoint activates a boss break. Okay, so it looks like there is some... How do I say it? Not really a combo thing, but kind of like a disable disable him, right? We'll put him in a freaking wheelchair. Uh, and it looks like he can't do anything and counter us or anything. Why can't we dodge though? Okay, here we go. Here is the combo skill. Avon Strash. Oh, 
he's got the the mega net. You know what I'm saying? Ding! 190 damage and stun. Okay. Oh, I just noticed that there are status effects up here. So we've got okay. We've got two charges over here. You can see the blue thing over there represents the charges. So it looks like we can go. Oh, I can dash. Ah. Ah. Okay. Okay. Oh, these graphics. Oh, oh my God. What's going on here? <laughs> Oh man, this is uh, this is pretty nuts. I'm I'm not sure I, I like where this is going. It looks like it might be a little bit of a, a little bit of a double suicide. You know what I'm saying? Like kind of some Dragon Ball Z kind of thing. All right. Oh my lord. Okay. Uh. Whoa! Look at me go. That's what I'm talking about. What? There is too many cutscenes in this. So if you like a story-driven game, maybe this is it. Why why do we keep getting this like dragon? Oh okay. Right. We have to fight this guy. Again. What? What what happened to my double suicide? Okay, okay, whatever. Wait, can I dodge with this kid? Why can't I dodge anymore? All right, guys, I'm about to smack him into the boulder. Hopefully, he's he's not gonna like that very much. Uh, okay. Activating boss break will stop your opponent from attacking. Yeah, I, I figured that much, but bam. Okay, so we can when he's further back, it looks like we can. Oh, okay, we can dodge again. Maybe it was just like locked in a tutorial mode or something. So we got Avon Strash again. Uh, huh? Hold up. Wait, this was what our master used, right? What's he gonna do? Oh, 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 Kamehameha. Maybe? Question mark? Maybe? Kamehameha? And. Oh, okay. Okay, you know what? This is like episode three. Oh, uh, there we go. Look at it. Look at it go. G, G. All right. Thank you. Thank you for the thank you for the entertainment, but I really do need to see like a little bit more. All right, somehow I ended up in a survey with this what the heck is it even? Welcome back, Papa Lace. This is what I'm talking about, you know? Skip. Select the type of hero. Oh. Oh, I can be a wife. Oh, easily. Oh my. Wait a second. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. What the Frick? Wait, this is actually really freaking cool. Can I go? Oh my lord. All right, guys. So it looks like there is a character builder kind of thing. And so that is my character. <laughs> what can I say? Got to make my wife, right? Okay, let's lock that bad boy in. Okay. So do we actually play as this person? All right, guys. It looks like we've actually made it into the home screen finally. It's time for a treasure hunt. And our character is right there. So that's really cool. It looks like we're doing it. It looks like we're going to hit it. Let's freaking go. Oh, there is no confirmation button. Yeah, let's go, boy. Oh, oh wait, that's the OG slime. Uh, that's a big slime. Okay, okay, that's the way. It's, these animations are pretty cool. I have, I have to give it that. If nothing else, these animations are pretty cool. So that was a four-star weapon, and it came out of a rainbow box. And so we got a lance. We've got a lightning lance. Okay. And so that's pretty cool. I wonder if this four-star is rigged. It probably is, but let's just keep going. And so, okay, altered altar. <laughs> oh, that's a mouthful. All right, so it looks like we're getting into the equipment system. Change equipment, equipment skills, and... Yeah, I'm just going to slam auto because, going to be honest, I have no idea what's going on right now. All right, so it looks like we're going back to adventure, but... This seems like this is the end of the reroll. I, why does it keep taking me to random places without any prompts? All right, event login bonus. So we've got 250 jemmies. I believe one roll is like 300 jemmies, maybe? Let's let's go have a look. We've got these login rewards. It is what it is. And so, okay, where is our present box? Here we go. <laughs> Gotta go right into it, you know what I'm saying? Present box, I'm looking for my pre-registration rewards. Oh, mama, that is, uh, that is quite a lot of rolls. Let me accept all and let's go close back and let's see what else we can grab announcements is there anything in here no it looks like we can get a knife and we can get a sword it's still running at oh wait a second that's not 32 fps that is more like 100 fps all right let's go have a look at the settings and see if we can tune this bad boy up it looks like there is nothing here oh never mind we can go to high graphics okay we've got auto lock we've got all this okay that's that's pretty good however it still looks like it is locking to 30 fps and i don't know if there's much you can do about it but let me head over to the treasure hunt and let's see what we can roll for 
before. So this is the launch celebration banner. And essentially, I think the reroll targets are actually these two right here. Generally speaking, I believe you want to reroll for weapons and weapons are probably going to impact your game the most. This is just based on some of like the earliest information that was made available via people who played CBT and stuff. But yeah, essentially, we're looking for four star weapons. We're looking for this knife over here. And then we're also looking for Evan's sword. All right, let's have a quick look at the rates. So I believe it's like 2% uh, provision rates over here. And so, oh, okay, it's 3% for a four star, 22% for three stars and 75% for the two stars. And it looks like the rate ups are, okay, that kind of feels bad, man. Because from what I can see, the weapons are over here. And then after that, you've got the armor, which is sharing that same rate up. And you don't really want your clown trousers, you know what I'm saying? You really want your knife of Papnika. All right, screw it, it doesn't matter. Let's give it a roll. So 10 times for 3K, I believe we have 6K. We can do a 20 roll. Let's search, give me some good juice. Give me some fat loot, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we got a cutscene. Wait, but do we always get a cutscene? Uh, what if I click? Oh, okay, I think I've seen this enough. Let's go, and it looks like we're getting a whole bunch of trash. All right, so this item is called Whoosh. Um, that was, uh, I gotta say, that's a little bit unimaginative, but it's probably part of the franchise and I shouldn't give it too much crap. All right, let's just skip that because it's clear that we did not get any four stars, so let's go again. So another 10 times, give us something good. If not, I'm gonna go roll over and cry. Okay, so it looks like there's no like special animation there. And we got nothing again. Sounds about right, but that's okay. And so actually, this is really cool because we get a lot of equipments and I believe your character actually equips the equipment. Oh yeah, of course, no shit, Sherlock. So if I click over here, change equipment, and you can see that she's equipped with all of that. Let me, uh, is it change vocation? Nope, it is not, but it looks like we've discovered a job system. We've got warrior, mage, priest, and hero. Take hits and fight back with high attack with this vocation. This sounds like a barbarian archetype or like a berserker where you do more damage as you take more damage. On the other hand, hero, it sounds like it's your general archetype. And then you've got mage in which you can do damage from the back ranks and then priest where you can heal. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna be a hero. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's close that off let's go back to equipments and skills so when i hit auto watch her clothes i believe they actually change so dude <laughs> what, what the frick <laughs> That's kind of cool, man. All right, and so as you can see, we can actually get more characters. And so I believe we're gonna be having like four characters at a time running around with us. All right, if I head on back, I believe there's also skills. Oh yeah, these guys are the skills. So if I click them, I believe you can also actually like, I'm pretty sure you can upgrade them. So if I go back and then I go back again, all the way home, I believe on the left-hand side, upgrade and manage, yeah. So you can upgrade your skills, which is really interesting because you can also equip skills. And so what that means is that there is a little bit of customization which is really nice i'm a pretty big fan of that like it's pretty cool how you can kind of like swap out abilities and stuff all right guys let's pause there and have a little break whilst i tell you about our sponsor ld player is a powerful modern emulator that will power all of your mobile apps and games it's got a whole bunch of features like oh let me show you guys it's got features like sync operations macro recording multi-instancing 64-bit support high frame rate mode and for you guys on like 120 hertz or 144 hertz monitors yes that's that's exactly what it sounds like and a lot more and honestly I personally use LD Play for a whole bunch of my mobile games including like Punishing Grey Raven and for the revived Witch Beta and so if you guys would like to give LD Player a shot head on down to the description or the pinned comment and we can get you set up otherwise thank you LD Player for sponsoring the video and with that let's get back to it and somehow guys I found myself in the paid section as always all right game launch pack I feel like that's probably paid gems and this is probably paid gems as well and so I'm not gonna bother with that but like this is just a quick look at it if you guys want. Includes a four star armor and a weapon for the one up here and some keys for more bonus materials. Okay. Uh, yeah, not overly interested in this. All right, and so before we move on, I saw beginner missions up here. It looks like we will be getting a whole bunch of nice stuff. I think that looked like a 10 roll up here. Yep, so that's nice. And so I believe we can also get more characters down here, which will be cool. All right, guys, here we go. Look, it's my character. She's so cute. <laughs> All right, let's see what's happening here. So we're gonna have to make a choice. Oh, hey, boys. It's Dai and Popo. All right, guys, so as you can see, we have Dai here. And so what I do want to point out is that like, this is a weapon or equipment gacha. And so what that means is that generally speaking, you're going to own everybody, but you do need to equip them out. And to get equips or the top tier equips, you're going to be looking at the gacha. All right, so this is what a Sage looks like. It looks like they show the weakness up here, which is the shoulder, which is really cool. On top of that, the boss's weaknesses, the elemental weakness is also shown over here. And so as you can see, Dai looks like he does extra damage to the golem. That's pretty nice to see. It lets you do a little 
little bit of pre-planning. Okay, wow, that's uh, that's a lot of statistics. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I think we have full control now. All right, so it's just telling me to use skills. So, bam. Okay, so I can't. Okay, I can dodge and I can go. I, I can go forwards and backwards now. So that's good. That's really good. To switch to a different character, I I was tapping that before, my guys. Oh, okay. I can dodge forward. Oh, let me dodge back. Okay, that that didn't really go well. Okay, well let me just do that. And that was a little bit too busted. <laughs> I, I can feel how it would be a lot more fun if it was a mobile because you know you can go to the left, right, left, right, and then like um forwards and backwards as well as like you got your thumb down here. And so it looks like we are up to the boss encounter who is a golem. So I think I should be using die for this, but screw it, I'm gonna use the waifu that I created. Oh, okay, that that, that didn't work out. So you need to dodge backwards for like the golem swing. And it's still not working out because I'm freaking, I'm still getting hit. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ungabunga it. Oh, I can't character switch. So it looks like there is a cooldown on the character switch system. The cooldowns of your skills are actually regenerating as you are in the other character. So that's, that's pretty cool. All right, and it looks like we smoked that boss like easily. Oh man, my character's so cute. Look, in armor and stuff. So I guess if you guys are looking for a waifu game, this, this ain't it guys. This, this ain't it. All right, so that's that one. And we've got another story stage over there. And so let me start talking about how I'm feeling about the game. Because at this point, I think I've shown you guys like a lot of what can be shown. There's obviously still stuff like events. This is looking like arena down here or some kind of boss battle. But generally speaking, I can kind of already tell how I'm feeling about this game. Let me first talk about like some of the pros, some of the things I really liked about this. And the first is that I could actually customize my character. And th there are very, very few games that allow you to do this. Most of the time you play as the protagonist, you play as like traveler or you play as the doctor, stuff like that, right? However, in this case, we actually get to be or well, whoever we want to be right on top of that what i really love is seeing the equipments actually come to life on your character model and so it was really nice to see my character actually don on like a whole bunch of heavy armor which is freaking hilarious but on top of that we've got the spear the shield and yeah i just think this is fantastic the gameplay itself like running around it was a it was a little bit hectic but i think that's because i'm not 100 percent sure like on how to play yet i think given enough time everyone will be able to pick it up relatively easily i don't think it's like a really steep learning curve i think it's it's just because like me personally, I'm not used to it. All right, so the next thing would be if I came into here and I clicked into manage account and as you can see, erase game data. So I believe, I believe that this is going to utterly crush my account. And the reason that I would wanna do this is because this is gonna allow you to reroll. I'm pretty sure the entire tutorial process took about five minutes and so a reroll will probably take you about like six or seven minutes, right? And so again, this is a massive pro for me, like for the developers who are a little bit more aware that we do want to re-roll and to implement something like that to make it easier for us like I'm I'm a massive fan of that on the weapon gadget itself as you can see treasure points 20 out of 100 so this sounds like a pity system and so generally speaking with a pity system at 3% rate it's okay I'm not sure if you can use these 100 points to go for a specific targeted weapon I hope you can but like what I'm seeing down here is things that I don't like too much and it's that pity doesn't carry between banners, which I think is a pretty big standard these days. But otherwise, just looking through this, like all of the skill animations, a lot of the voices and stuff, the art, the 3D models, the gameplay itself, I find it, I find it pretty fun. I feel like it's really fun right now, but generally speaking, for a gacha, I am probably gonna get bored of it a bit fast. And that is only because I'm more of a fan of like autoing or like just like small incremental progressions with not too much effort. And so guys, that's just my personal opinion. I do know a lot of people who are looking more for like main games, games that have like a lot more active gameplay. So stuff like this and like manualing actually gives you like some kind of tangible extra result. But yeah, I guess for me personally, the art style, it's not up my alley. I'm not a massive fan of like the Dragon Ball Z art style. I'm not a massive fan of like the DQ art style. This is very reminiscent of like that 1990s, that kind of art style. Uh, you know what? Like the more I look at them, the more I actually recognize these characters. I'm just personally not a fan of it, but this is again coming down to personal taste. All right, so the other thing I want to talk about is this bad boy up here. And as you can see, the game has been running on 30 FPS essentially the entire time. However, whilst it's kind of annoying and so therefore it's making things feel a little bit choppy and dated, for me personally, it's not a deal breaker because like it's it's actually running really smooth. This is nothing like Alchemy Stars at launch where you could only get like 20 FPS. Oh, it was so choppy. It was so annoying. So from an FPS point of view, I think it's okay. But otherwise, if you guys are a big fan of the IP, I would really highly recommend it. If not to actually pick this game up and continue with it then at least just come and give it a shot because to be honest guys 
the gameplay itself is actually pretty fun. And from what I've been told, the story itself is actually quite faithful to the source material. So yeah, for you guys who love Dragon Quest or at least DQ Die, I, I would say give this guy a shot. But yeah, guys, that kind of sums up my experience of the game. I think it's I think it's really novel. I think it's going to be fun for a short amount of time. But unfortunately for me personally, who is not really a fan, or I just don't really know Dragon Quest. I've never really played through them. I'm not really familiar with the IP itself. And so therefore, I unfortunately don't have any attachment to this. And so just looking at it as just a gacha game, it's like, it's not overly impressive. The whole running system, the whole active battle system from before, like it's, it's pretty fun. But again, I can see myself personally, again, this is just personal taste. Like I think I would get over the mechanic pretty quickly. However, I did see skip tickets over here. And so that is a massive, massive plus. But yeah, guys, that's kind of it for me. Like the whole UI and everything, I'm I'm sure it's very DQ Die-esque, but I'm just not a really big fan of it. This feels like it was an early like 2010s game. When the mobile games started like really coming out, I'm talking like Brave Frontier. I'm talking like all those really early ones with this kind of UI, right? And so, yeah, I'm not a massive fan of that either. And so for this game with all of its production value and all of that, I would probably give it like a five and a half or a six out of 10. I just think that the market right now is so competitive. There are a lot of great games that are probably better than this. Again, in the short term, I feel like it's cool. It's pretty fun. You got the dodging mechanics and then you go on like left and right and then you dash up and then you go smack some people up, use some skills and then like things are dying and oh my, okay. That is really, really satisfying. But like in the long run, I, I'm probably not going to be a massive fan of this. Like this is probably going to get pretty novel. Oh my God, pretty fast, right? But if you guys do check this out and like it, like guys, do not let me stop you from playing any games ever. I 100% know that there are going to be some people who are really in love with it and will defend it to the ends of the earth. But yeah, just for me personally, I can see myself getting over this relatively fast. Oh, let's freaking go. This is, this, okay, you know what? It, it is pretty cool. It is pretty freaking cool. <laughs> but all right, let's finish this bad boy off and let's call it a day. All right. I, I think that's it guys. I think that is it for this video. And so yeah guys, if you do want to try this game out, there is an affiliate link down in the description below. And if you do use that affiliate link, it just helps me and the channel out. But otherwise, I want to hear from you guys. Are you guys going to be trying this guy out? Dragon Quest Die, are you guys a fan of the IP? How did you feel about the gameplay? How did you feel about the game overall, the atmosphere? And so if you guys could drop your thoughts down into the comments below, I would really appreciate it because it means you've watched up until the end of the video. And so thank you guys so much. But otherwise, please consider a like, a sub, a follow, and as I said before, if you would like to try the game, consider using the affiliate link in the description. We've also got a membership thing, but as Dai once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.